Good evening, everybody. This is my reversible 1950s or 60s two-speed wizard box fan here. I'm just now I'm getting around to using it. And as you can see, I have my window there open. It has been, uh, it's been really cool down here in Georgia. I think fall is really starting to, uh, to come around now. I think it, I think it got up to maybe 85 or 86 degrees today. And within, within hours of, within hours of time, I think it's dropped down to maybe a good mid to lower, mid to upper 60s. So everybody's getting their air conditioners out. This is my time of year where I like to, uh, to run my fans in the window. Some others probably would be putting up their fans around this time, but this is when I'm really starting to, to getting to using them. But anyway, uh, the fan is running, running just fine now. As you can see, I've put another cord on it. Other than that, I don't think the fan has had any other flaws. The fan is in very good shape, and I just I absolutely love that patina. I think it's like a this is like a like a light retro green color, and I've just decided that since the fan is in the the condition that it's in, I think uh, I think I'll just leave as it as is for now. I think all pretty much all it needed was a good cleaning. Uh, good oiling it does have the GE export motor that you see there in the back and it does run and from what I've been told on Facebook that these motors are more prone to failure uh, they're they're little they're a little less less efficient but you know what I'm just gonna see how far I can go with this and uh, Maybe it's true with uh, the, the aluminum wiring and the copper wiring of these things. But, uh, in my opinion, as as long as I can keep the thing clean and well-oiled, I think that this is going to last a long time. Let's have a close look, closer look at it here. There's the emblem. And I always did, uh, I always wanted to get, you know, one of the wizard fans that had the uh, that that's that style emblem on it, and I finally got it. That badge is in really good shape too, by the way. So nothing to be done with that one. The guards look to be in excellent condition. No signs of rust anywhere. Just a few few uh, spots of rust surface here and there, but other than that, it's really not all that bad. Fan is in really good shape, and it does have the carrying handle. How cool is that? Another reason why I was uh, I was a lot more interested in this fan, and that is the original handle too. By the way, it appears to be uh, to be uh, to be rubber or latex. I'm not too sure. And there are. The, the fan positions there, the fan speeds, and that is the exhaust, the in and the outtake position. Those switches appear to work very well. Even though, uh, I don't know if I'm fully satisfied with the, uh, with the, uh, the stamps on this thing. I may, I may end up, uh, taking those off and, and making a, a switch plate for this thing. I did replace the uh, the uh, the bolt on this. Let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, back of here. And there's the side of it, and this does not have the holes for mounting the stand, just as the others do. So I guess these were, since this is the uh, the exhaust model, these were uh, designed for windows and whatnot. There's that G export motor. I don't know if you can see it, but I did clean it up. Uh, I did clean it up a little bit. Those windings don't look all that great, but they don't look all that bad either. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a shot. And I'm gonna see how far I can go with this. 
Uh, the card is in really good condition. There's no rust anywhere. There's a uh, there's the wiring in there. I did uh I did do some a little repair with that. I don't know if you can see it. Battery's low, and so the flashlight's not going to work. But I just took some twist ties and I just kind of fixed that to where uh, it's not going to fall into the fan there. And yes, I did install feet on it. So I'm happy with that. This thing has an awesome startup sound to it too, by the way. Pretty much, if not exactly the same as, uh, as my other one. Pretty much just the Weston Cows motor. It's, uh, you can hear the, uh, maybe you can hear the, the, the startup a little bit better uh, as much as the winding. When these, th when these things start up, it starts up like a machine because these things, these things were built, built like machines. And, uh, even though these were probably the more cheaper made fans of that particular era, they definitely put more of the modern fans today to shame and uh i know this thing is gonna come a long way uh, due to how well due to how well the thing works and the condition that it's in so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and we'll put this thing in the window and we'll get it plugged in and let's uh let's give this thing a test here let's run it okay Okay, so now I have the fan on the intake, so it's going to come in this way. It's going to run clockwise, and then we will run it counterclockwise, which is the out position. And I don't know if you even took, took the time to notice, but uh, they did kind of get that wrong. But I do intend to, to, to correct that. Okay, let's go ahead and let me get this window open here. We don't want to create a suction. Okay, let's go ahead and let's start it off here on the, uh, let's start it off on the high speed. Okay, came up to speed really nice. It's very quiet. Minimum vibration. Airflow. Airflow was great. It's putting in a pretty good breeze through here throughout the house. Like I said, when these things start up, they start up like machines. And they behave like machines. Okay, let's go ahead and knock it down to low. Low speed does tend to be a be a tad bit slower uh, on this fan, 
given that it is a reversible, these motors uh, are a, a lower rated amp ampage than uh, than the usual the usual motors. This is a good uh this is a good nighttime speed too. Air quality really isn't all that bad. It's not as powerful as the the uh the other ones that I